welcome back to another episode of Vicky's Daily Stand Up. So in today's video, we are going to talk about how exactly you are gonna get your first software engineering job right after the bootcamp. I know this can be frustrated. You don't really have an actual work experience. And guess what? I am in the same situation as you. It was rough. I guess luckily, I landed my first software engineering job at this mid-sized startup company that I'm absolutely in love with. And here are some of the tips and ideas that I learned from my past experience might help you to really land your first software engineering job right after the bootcamp. The first thing that you need to do is, guys, girls, stay calm and believe in yourself. It's really important to have that mindset. So once you have that mindset, you're gonna start seeing a lot of different opportunities. So the first tips that I'm gonna give you is your portfolio site. You need a freaking portfolio site. It's super important to put yourself out there and it's super important to convey that information who you are as a developer. Now, there are a few things that I wanted to emphasize on a personal portfolio. Um, you wanted to talk about yourself. You wanted to have at least a paragraph to describe who you are, where you're coming from. And now I want you to really emphasize on just being real and authentic to yourself because a lot of times um, when we recruiter are looking at your personal website they might see something that you worked in the past that really stand out and that might be the reason why they wanted to hire you the second thing that's really important is really to show your portfolios you wanted to have projects demos or gifs or anything that would draw people who come into your website to click on the link to go to either your repo which is either your github pages or the life site of your projects because you want people to come to your website and be like yo this is really sick and i want her or i want him to be the developer or maybe their project is really relevant to what we're currently developing so you want them to have the link or have the ability to actually see your project. You want them to be able to either download your resume or being able to see your resume right away. The other thing is social media. Social media is super important. I cannot emphasize more on that. So you wanted to have a social media present no matter if it's on LinkedIn or you've been writing Medium blog posts about tech, you should really have those things available on your personal portfolio website. The last thing which usually people are kind of overlook is the idea of having a responsive personal website. Just think about this, a lot of recruiters coming to your website are probably using their phone. Most of the people who are navigating through their day probably don't have a laptop with them all the time. It just makes so much more sense if your website is mobile friendly or responsive because it speaks so much about you as a developer. Um, you understand that concept, you make really professional looking websites. It just makes you stand out in the crowd. The second thing that I would absolutely suggest is network with real people and people who are on the internet. You want it to be able to network, network, network. So when you're networking with people in the industry, you want it to be able to come up to them and really just be interested about what they do. Not only just like asking, hey, I just graduated from this bootcamp and I really just need a job. Be genuine and also be interested in what they worked and what kind of project they're working on. Tell them that you are happy to meet them in person and you would like to connect with them on LinkedIn. The other thing that's really important is trying to meet people on the internet. Um, I gotta tell you that over one year when I started Vicky's Daily Stand Up on Instagram, I've met so many cool and amazing individuals. You wouldn't even believe it. It's crazy. It's crazy good. And you definitely is losing if you are not online and connecting people online so make sure to do that tip number three study algorithm I'm sorry there's no way to get away from that you just need to study for interviews especially study for algorithms unfortunately that is one way to really assess one candidate over another. You know, really take the time to really inject all that algorithm information and knowledge into your head. I could not stress enough, once you graduated from bootcamp, this is gonna be like 
almost one of the most priority thing that you wanted to do on top of the other things that you do on the side because it takes so much time to really understand computer science and it takes so much time to really understand those concepts. Unfortunately, it requires time for your brain to really absorb all those information in your head and it takes time, takes practice, all of that. So you wanted to get started as soon as possible. The other tip is try to find a practice buddy. Find one or two buddy that you can count on and you find yourself really great to pair a program with and do the algorithm questions with them. Um, keep yourself accountable in that way. It really helps you to keep your momentum going because sometimes it just gets really boring when you're just doing tons of algo all by yourself. The last but not least is you want mod interviews. You want mod interviews specifically for technical interviews. Um, you want to get used to expressing and explaining your ideas um, while you're coding. The first time when I did the live coding interview, I was so nervous and I just kind of like postponing myself to that day because I was like, you know what, I don't feel comfortable that I'm ready to do a technical interview. It always it always feels scary. I never felt so comfortable entirely to be able to write code while I explaining myself to another human being. It's just not natural, so you need more practice on that. I hope this is helpful. Honestly, these tips are so golden and I would not regret doing all of that because I would not see myself landing my first software engineering job without going through all these process. I know it's a lot, I know it's not easy, but hey, you've been doing really great just by graduating. Don't give up and keep having that positive vibe. Believe me, one day you're gonna look back and you're gonna be like, I'm so glad I put in the work and I am so deserved to be where I'm at now because I'm so glad that I took the limb to to pursue the things that were important to me. Check out other videos like this on my channel. Give me a thumbs up, share this with someone, and until next time, I'll talk to you soon, very soon. Okay, all right, I'm gonna go. Bye, bye, bye.